These days, when you see a roll of Neko wafers, you'll find that the standard assortment consists of eight different flavors. These flavors are chocolate, cinnamon, clove, lemon, licorice, lime, orange, and wintergreen. Neko wafers have been these same eight flavors for almost 100 years. Now, what if I told you that there used to be a ninth flavor? Does anyone care? Did anyone look into this? Neko wafers have been the brunt of many jokes for years, so I don't think people cared to look into this enough to find out for themselves. As I dug into the history of the candy company Neko, short for New England Confectionery Company, I looked at the Neko wafers. It was a candy at the time that I had never tried because, well, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. The beginning of the Neko wafers history starts in 1847 when a man by the name of Oliver Chase, who made medicinal lozenges in a pharmacy, decided to make lozenges with no drugs in them. Selling the flavored sugar wafers as candy, he called them Chase Lozenges. They soon became increasingly popular. Oliver started a booming candy business. The sugar wafers that Chase was making were nicknamed Hub Wafers by the Union soldiers during the Civil War. They were given this name because Hub is a nickname for the city of Boston, and the city of Boston is where the sugar wafers were made. Then in 1901, three candy companies formed together, including Chase's candy company, to form Necco. By 1912, the Hub Wafers were then named Necco Wafers. As I looked into things, Going back into advertisements from the 1930s, they described Necco wafers to having eight flavors in its assortment. But going back before that, getting into Necco's earliest history, looking at printed ads from magazines and newspapers from the 1910s, it mentioned that there were nine Necco wafer flavors. There was never a cut and dry list of all nine flavors mentioned in these early ads to solve this mystery easily. I dug and I dug online to find any kind of information or explanation about this and no one else has touched on this subject. I've heard in passing that there was a root beer flavored wafer, but that was just people mistaking the clove flavor for root beer. So I started looking back and looked at the flavors that were sold back then. No root beer flavor was sold at any point, so root beer was cut out of the equation. But I did come across one flavor by chance, as it was mentioned sparingly in Neko's ads. Today, Neko wafers are sold in their 8 flavor assortment and in an all chocolate flavor version. Back then, many more versions were sold of all one flavor. When looking at old Neko wafer ads, one ad from 1919 mentioned that not only the assorted and the chocolate versions were available, but also an all peppermint, an all wintergreen, and an all cinnamon version were available as well. This struck me as kind of odd, as an all peppermint package was available. In later ads, all of the other versions were available except the peppermint one. This exclusion of the all peppermint package coincided with the timing of the nine flavors dropping to eight flavors in the assorted package. At the latest, according to the advertisements, the peppermint Necco wafers would have lasted until the 1930s before they were discontinued. Looking at the other packages of Necco wafers that contained only one flavor, such as cinnamon, wintergreen, and chocolate, they were also included in the assortment package as well. This led me to believe that peppermint was also a part of the assortment package. And this would solve the mystery of the lost ninth flavor. The reason the peppermint flavor was dropped is still a bit of a mystery, but I have a couple theories. The first is that within the nine assorted flavors, two were minty tasting. As wintergreen was in the assortment as well, it could have been seen that two mint flavors were just too much. My second theory is this. Neko sold Chase Mints as well. They were peppermint flavored mints that were sold as its own brand. So Neko might have cut the peppermint flavor from the Neko wafers as it could have drawn sales away from Chase Mints. There was a return of peppermint flavored Neko wafers 
It was under the limited edition candy cane flavor in the 2000s, but that was about it. Necco wafers are an odd choice in the candy aisle today, but back then, they were loved by many. They're one of the oldest candies still being sold in stores today. Every website out there claims that there was always the original 8 flavors of Necco wafers, but now we all know that a peppermint flavor existed as well. So let us now set the record and history straight as there were 9 amazing flavors of Necco wafers. Chocolate, cinnamon, clove, lemon, licorice, lime, orange, wintergreen, and peppermint. And now, the mystery of the lost ninth Necco wafer flavor is solved.